What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at everything new here in macOS Ventura 13.2. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now there's not a whole lot of new things here. There's just a couple of new features and then some bug fixes and security updates. So the first things first is this wallpaper. So you might notice that we have a brand new wallpaper. You can head into your system settings, wallpaper, and under light and dark desktop, you notice that we now have a grid green. And then we also have this grid magenta color, which looks like that. And these two wallpapers have been added because we have new M2 MacBook Pros and Mac Minis coming out. So Apple always adds, of course, the wallpaper that they use in all of their kind of pictures and things of the device. So yeah, you got two new wallpapers here that you can enjoy. Next thing here has to do with security keys. So if you head over to your Apple ID and then you head to password and security, if you scroll down slightly, you'll see the new security keys section. So this is gonna allow you to use FIDO uh, security keys to basically sign into your Apple ID, making it very, very secure. So if you don't know what a security key is, it's a physical little device that you have to either insert or you can use like NFC or something like that to be able to activate it. So without that key in your possession near the device that you're trying to sign into, well, you're not going to be able to sign into your de device at all. So it's a very, very, very good uh, security method. So you now have the ability to add those here for your Mac just like you can now on your iPhone and your iPad. Another thing here with your Apple ID is the advanced data protection. Now advanced data protection was announced in 16.2 but it was not available worldwide. So now it is. So if you're worldwide, well you can use advanced data protection. It's under your iCloud settings at the bottom and you can turn that on to encrypt all of your data. So pretty cool there. Next thing here has to do with a couple of bug fixes. So the first one here has to do with Freeform. So Freeform is a new app that was added in the last major update here on all your Apple devices. Well, in Freeform, it's basically kind of this collaboration tool that you can work on a digital whiteboard like this and you can use other people to help you or you can do it yourself. Well, there was a problem where if you were drawing with like your Apple Pencil, you may not see the strokes appear on a shared board. So if I was on my iPad and I was sketching something out and I was collaborating with somebody else that was on a Mac, for example, they may not be able to see what I'm doing. So that has been addressed here in 13.2. And then the only other issue that was fixed was a voiceover issue. So uh, voiceovers and accessibility settings, of course. And there was a problem where it may stop offering audio feedback when you're typing. So those issues have been resolved. And then the only other things to talk about will be the security updates, which are always in every single release of not only macOS, but other devices and softwares as well. You can head over to Apple's support page and you can check out all of those security related items. So you can see on this page, you have all the updates that were released yesterday as well as today. Apple pulled a uh, tvOS and HomePod OS for some reason, but they've re-released them today. Anyways, we can go down here to Ventura and you click on it and then you can scroll through and you can see each item that was addressed, how they fixed it and all that good stuff. They even give credit to who found it. So that is pretty much it here for Ventura 13.2. Not a ton of things to talk about, but another nice update here to Mac OS. So guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching the channel as always, and I will catch you all in the next video.